would just you chuckle, right? You're like your six year old is asking about the NCAA tournament and you're in high school, so it doesn't work to see you, you know, <laughs> give him a little message. And I remember that was a big battle in my mind of, well, how do my kids see me? Right. And just like you said, Carla, it's am I ta- taking a step back? How does that impact them? Like, am I doing what I love? Because if I can follow my heart, then they should be feeling that energy too. So that was something that kept going through my mind before well while I was in the process of making that choice and it's so interesting because it is about the relationships my biggest thing as a mom was I don't want my profession to completely separate my personal life and to have my kids and my family show up it was so important for those people around me to see that that's that's okay so it's just really interesting kind of going back and watching your own film and the little stories that pop up because what now I'm asking myself, you know, was it the right choice? Are you following your your why, which is what I had to keep going back back through over and over again, because you're right, Julie, it's it's hard and I beat myself up a little bit because I chose it again. So I'm thinking I, it should be fine, but I still it took me a good three months to understand grief equals loss. It doesn't have to be a death. It's it's a huge change and it's a loss of a routine and something I had done for 20 plus years. 